Hi everyone, welcome. This is Monthly Members. This is going to be a Monthly Members video. <laughs> I think that's obvious, but let's just reiterate it. Why? Why the heck not, I guess, yeah? Um, welcome, and first of all, I want to thank everyone who is here. You guys truly do help this channel move in the way that it does. I really support you guys here as well, okay? Let me know what you guys also feel with these videos. I know that we have a few different tiers and different content, so periodically, right, feel free to share what it is that does come up when it comes to how you're utilizing these videos and the content, if it is helpful for you, um, so on and so forth, uh, if it's something that that, you know, you're, you're enjoying, uh, and it's actually, let's say, also so-called educational, right? Obviously, from an astrological standpoint, um, monthly, we really get into the nitty-gritties with the astrology, similar with, with the hourly um, members we do. When we jump on there, it's more, we talk more about, even even on 48 hours, we really get into, like, void of course and why that's important, um, and the little details with all of that. So, Anyhow, you guys, thank you so much again for tuning in. And um, what are we looking at? We're looking at first here, obviously, this is December to Jan. I want to first talk about December. Okay, we have a lot going on here with December. Uh, we just moved into a stellium in the sign of Capricorn. Let me pull up you know, um, the Zodiac, uh, you know, at this time, obviously Capricorn speaks of Saturn, speaks of the 10th house, you know, a lot coming up here that has possibly even been on the back burner. Okay, guys, give me a quick second here, actually. Um, let me check. Okay. So, yeah, with such a heavy Saturn, there can be a lot of pressure. Um, if you've ever seen, uh, you know, someone who has a lot of Capricorn in their chart in in working action, they're very, they're very, they at times can put a lot of pressure on themselves. And if you have a lot of Capricorn, you most likely put a lot of pressure on yourself from time to time. Um, to the point where it's like, you know, sometimes it's almost like you unnecessarily so, but you know that. It's like the type of vibe, it's like, why can't you just let loose? It's like, you know, you're going to be fine about this. It's like, yeah, I know, but mm. it's like, you know, a little bit of that energy of like um, the devil energy at times, right? The fear of, well, if I don't do this, you know, or, you know, it's like you don't maybe need to do whatever you're thinking of doing, but it's like you feel pressured. Let's go ahead and let's head, buddy. Now, um, this is just a general channel message as well. This is a, all channeled, but this is a very particular channel message. Now, let's take a look here at... December in terms of the ephemeris. As of the 24th, we have, again, five planets in the sign of Cap. This is the moon included. We have the new moon in Cap as well. The new moon speaks of new beginnings. There's a lot of energy here. Okay, coming up. Some of you may be dealing with things that you feel are like sort of unjust or unfair. This is just sort of what I'm picking up on. We have Mars still in Gemini and retrograde as well. So this is placing a focus and emphasis on communication. What is written, what is spoken, your actual, you know, interactions here. If you have a lot of Gemini, if you have Mars Gemini especially, this is going to be a very important sort of plot point moment for you when it comes to how you sort of, um, you know, um, involve yourself even in conversations like i see you looking more at things as like is that actually necessary for me to do necessary for me to talk to that person at that time is that necessary for me you know there's a lot of this sort of really strong saturnian energy applied to whatever this transit of mars and gemini in retro is or what however whichever transit right we can't look at them as isolated but rather there's a conversation happening even amongst the planetary transits in and of themselves this is all again channel messages this is how i work with astrology in general i believe that everything is related to one another Okay, in terms of transits. So it, that's why it's like, yeah, we can never say that one person even, well, it's very, okay, uh, you know, exposed. The sun, um, one one birth chart is never the same, right? You, you can have, yeah, even two people with the same birth chart, it's a matter of the will that they, that they take on to choose how they are to translate certain energies. Um... So, having said all of that, okay, we have a lot of, in Capricorn now, this is a lot of pressure, I keep hearing that, you know, you may be also dealing with people who you realize, 
yeah, are just not in alignment with you, okay? These people maybe are very successful, I hear that, or they're promising that you will be successful in working with them, or they are maybe even, yeah, this is just the toxic side, the shadow of, of Capricorn and Saturn is what's coming up right now. Let's clear it in the throat chakra. This is a lot of, even at times, like, inappropriate energy, like, uh, you're making decisions on that, okay? You're making decisions on what people also may say that just rubs you the wrong way, you know, where you just don't resonate with, with that, with that, even that rule or that boss or that job, whatever is going on, especially when it comes to how you re relate and interact with other people. Uh, and when it comes to the decisions that you make in relation to your personal boundaries um, and your vision of the future, your pragmatic sort of outlook and how you feel you achieve your personal goals, given your personal pragmatic outlook you're going to be making decisions here some of you are going to really cut people off this is what i'm seeing you're going to decide once and for all and capricorn very ruthless energy it's like when it's let's go down the back yeah some of you also dealing with people talking smack behind your back this is not a problem mars and gemini retro I'm gonna bring that energy up okay it's only normal okay but yeah now um but still bye you know some of you here you just don't want to deal with something here is what i'm seeing there's something that is just like it's just not it's just not feeling right anymore. It's just not attractive to you, alluring to you anymore. And I feel like it's really no longer about, let's say, faking it if you were at a certain point. I feel like you're really going to just kind of get so turned off by a certain, you know, even project idea. Like, I just see you shaking hands off completely. Like, I just want to have nothing to do with this situation altogether. Now, I feel like this video should be public. I'm, um, yeah, I don't know. There's a little bit too much going on. <laughs> uh, maybe the guides are not clear yet on what they want public and private. I don't know, because I'm, we tried f six different videos today. Um, and it's just like everything is, yeah, almost like on hold, is f frozen. It's like I even tried to get into a private reading. Uh, no. So, yeah, it's just something is like frozen here. And it's obviously the transits um we're yeah at zero degrees of about three planets here so that's uh anyways yeah now on the 24th we're about one degree okay of the sun we have the moon yeah has been sort of obviously moving closer towards aquarius but it has been capricorn now let's just clear the energy again oh my god some of you there's a big question as well uh, when it comes to contracts, but not only that, but also like just little contracts, like, hey, I said this to you, I said, don't tell anyone and you, when you told someone, okay? Why did you do that? Are you honestly like a doofus? Okay, for some of you, you're going to be dealing with people and you're going to you're going to realize who just cannot be, you cannot count on this person. Like this person, for some of you, maybe even like trashing your reputation online. For some of you, it's on your website, something about your website. I don't know what that's about. It's like you just realizing I cannot trust these people. Okay, for some of you, you're going to get to the point though where you realize, well, this is a fucking good thing. Okay, this is a good thing. This is a good moment. This this experience that I had with this person right here because I realized that they're just not an honest person. Maybe at first it's going to really irritate you, but then afterwards it's going to also like kind of cause you to develop a, a more nuanced sort of like, um, yeah, sort of... Um, criteria okay when it comes to who you really really are going to allow into your intimate space to get to the point even with you that you would allow this person to carry your reputation for you forward you see what i'm saying some of you you've been yeah really sort of opening your doors maybe a little bit too wide here to too many people i hear that as well so this is about getting down funneling down like especially with all this like really mutable dynamic gemini energy that is very sort of um exciting and energetic okay and like yeah um very busy energy okay this it's the noise of the zodiac capricorn's gonna come through and be like let's funnel that shit down and yeah no we're not gonna have a smile on our face maybe with certain points that we get down to we're gonna get down to them you know some of you here you're really gonna have to make decisions when it comes to who you really sort of see in your future okay who you really sort of yeah even want to support okay this is gonna for some of you this reminds me of an astro chart we did where it's like you're gonna boycott some of you're gonna really be boycotting okay big time okay some industries okay that just are no longer okay for you you and you know it it's like I, this is an industry i can't work in this industry anymore or i don't want to service this industry or i feel like you know people don't appreciate maybe even my work that i'm already doing in this industry but I, yeah so this is where you're sort of going to get very clear on your input and your output your expectations and what actually feels right for you as well 
right? Because Capricorn is a very independent energy. Capricorn is about leadership. It's about, I don't need you as well, okay? Because I'm independent, right? So I'm not going to create because we are creating together. I'm going to create because this is what I am doing for myself as well. And yeah, sure in the shadow, right? When we can really take that to another level, like, oh God, that's it. I'm going to fire everybody in the company. I'm going to be a one solo man job, you know, kind of vibe. But um, some of you may decide on that. Some of you are going to be firing people, Okay, no, it's a chop chop. I mean, I don't, I don't, yeah, for some of you, whatever, whatever that means for you. But I just see like, there's this energy of having to cut down. Um, obviously, this can be very intense with four or five planets in Capricorn and with the new moon as well. And new moon definitely energy is release, sloughing off. Okay, yeah, really sort of, it can feel also really intense. So you may get to this point where you're like, I just really feel this like intense need to just kind of clear this energy. Um, for some of you here, you know, you maybe are going to get very irritated, though, I see that, because with so much Sag that we've been in, Sag, Jupiter, expansive, it's like, it sort of is this sort of dichotomy of, uh, why did I see the potential in that? Like, how, you know, how could I have done that to myself? Even, you know, you can't get to that point, though, really, because everything... So the reason why we have the Sagittarius energy in the zodiac that we experience, the tr well, the, that we go through as a transit, and then we lead after that into Capricorn. So there's almost like this really strong expansion and then this really strong contraction, and that's happening in terms of how you see the potential of maybe a certain project or a certain person. Many of you are going to really just like lose taste, okay, for certain things, certain situations, certain people, okay, certain, uh, you know, yeah, contracts will be absolutely up and over, done, hands shake it off, shaken off there. Okay, with whatever that relationship even dynamic was, some of you just gonna, you know, those moments you just wake up and you're like, I am totally over this person. I want to have nothing to do with this person, you know, something like that. Um, no, I want to, I don't want to even, no, I don't want to see your screen name on, on my, on my page. Yeah, something like that. Okay, I'm going to unfollow, you know, yeah, just block, you know, this is that energy of Capricorn. Capricorn doesn't get into the, into the why really, okay, um, that others may also arise with when they make the decision when they've understood why it is going to be the best decision for them now that is great at times at times as well we have to obviously play the caveat this can also lead to an extreme okay of like that's it i'm gonna become a tyrant you know it's like i'm gonna cancel yeah cancel culture everything it's like uh, and then yeah i mean we cannot be like canceling everyone i'm almost getting this energy of like canceling everyone around us you know we can't we can't get, we cannot like polarize you know we can't get into that sort of very insulated space and, and expect to also be satisfied and that's why yet again everything is meaningful these transits are, are there for a reason and they're meant to bring you closer to what is feeling authentic for you which is always at times where it will say changing but getting closer to that sort of point of inception of what is your ultimate vision when it comes to finding a space that will speak to your soul satisfaction but we're never going to say that, that, yeah, that one thing that I found back in O2, that during that one transit of three planets into Scorpio really is going to speak to what makes me happy today. We're always innovating. And this is where we're cracking outside of, though, maybe where we've been really kind of a bit, a bit um, lavish, okay, a bit, a bit too open, open, open hearted as well. You know, oh, no, it's like, I want to let everybody in. No, no, all are not one. You know, at times when it comes to consciousness, we talked about that, yeah. Uh, in the astro chat so for some of you this is where you are sort of releasing the idea of what this friendship should be the idea okay as a very fuzzy sort of image right which is very jupiterian jupiter is that fuzzy hazy sort of you know well this is our theme okay of who we are but then when it really comes down to it you know your inner saturnian conversation okay is more like and why why did we say that that was a good idea to, you know, get involved in this situation? Or why did we, yeah, I mean, we're going to go back to the very beginning, like, why? Did, it's a bit of a Judy energy, like, yeah, it's like, well, a bit of an auditing moment here. It's like, why did we, okay, even like, yeah, agree to what we agreed to? But was it something we agreed to? Maybe this relationship dynamic is not something that you actually wanted. This hope for this vision was not something you wanted, but it was something that somebody else wanted. And then you kind of went along with it. And you were like, well, what if, wouldn't it be nice, you know, if we all sort of participated together in this space? You know, this is where it's like not really about the whole community. It's about you creating something that's real to you. And so this doesn't mean that Sag is wrong, Jupiter is wrong. It doesn't mean that the energy of the visionary type is bad or wrong. And I'm saying this as somebody who has a whole fucking lot of Jupiter in my chart. My sun is in Pisces. I have Mercury in Pisces, moon in Sag. I have Jupiter in the house of Sagittarius. I freaking get that. So my south node is in the house of 
of Jupiter. So let's just back it up. <laughs> okay. Um, this is not to say it's wrong. It's just that it there is a capacity and this is right. The moment of the new moon is a beautiful time. And as are all our transits, but really, really the new moon, full moon axes points and really, especially the new moon is a time where we are sitting face to face with what the balance of the situation looks like. Okay. Uh, is it, is it something that I am in, in alignment with? We won't ever say that something is wrong, that you're out of balance and it's not right because we're making decisions right always in accordance with what we're agreeing to with our heart self is this something an experience that i'm really in resonance with and i want to have and you know maybe learn a lesson from or that i want to experience um if the answer is yes then you're in that situation right you you're a creator you're never going to be experiencing something that your higher self did not ask you to experience so this is where you're sort of though questioning now what is my ideal balance what does that look like uh what does my ideal balance uh, mean okay to me in terms of what i'm actually resonating with so for some of you <laughs> some of you you know this is about saying no for some of you this is about declining okay certain you know offers okay certain votes it's like i see where the where the sort of um, the excess or the heavy overture energy or the of the Sagittarius Jupiter en archetype or the um, you know the sort of uh, the, how do I say um, the outlandish okay sort of participations that maybe you've had now you know we're, we're, I'm hearing work in okay you had a you had a foot maybe in certain projects that just we're just overdrawing even on your resources I see you just flat out okay even just ending okay those conversations and and i don't think that this is something that is you know and, and forget i'm gonna say it like that for good and this is not in a way that i feel like you'll be feeling bashful about this is the capricorn energy of i want to be that person who ends this conversation that's not working for me by myself right this is you stepping into that space of leadership for yourself so you guys um that's what we're dealing with in terms of the last part of december okay the last very last part of December, we're working with this heavy Capricorn. Obviously, the moon is going to switch out of Cap between the 23rd and the 24th. And then we'll, it'll, yeah, we'll see that translate into the sign of Aquarius. Um, but we still, obviously, as well, yeah, have Venus, Mercury, and the sun in Capricorn. Mercury is in pre shadow retrograde already. So, this is a big deal. Um, something to note, it has been in pre-shadow retrograde for some time. That is accompanying the official retro of Mars, touring of Mars in Gemini. Um, so yeah, guys, we have a lot going on here and Saturn is awfully karmic, to, you know, in and of itself. Um, so you can see a lot of things, yeah, let's back it up. You can see a lot of people cropping up from the past, people who just, they don't feel good about what they did maybe in the past and they're not feeling good about their behaviors and their actions and their decisions. And you're going to see a lot of these people here cropping up sort of, um, somehow, um, sort of, uh, sort of wanting to even, um, relate to themselves, but through you take it as you will you know you may find that they're sort of really um sort of um kind of uh attracted to you even at this time is what i'm hearing sort of drawn to you dr drawn into your talk and so yeah um it's up to you to decide you know and this is obviously for a lesson a reason you know this person coming up you know maybe i haven't talked to in years how do i really actually feel about this person you know are they really uh what happened back there was it that yet again this person wanted to talk to me and that's why i was talking to them that i felt like i wanted to talk to them or was it someone i actually really wanted to talk to so yeah this is the energy that i'm picking up on uh, when it comes to this stellium and cap, then we move into right an official retrograde on the 30th, a day prior to the new year. This is very, very much a big deal. This is a matter of ancient soul contracts coming up with Saturn here ruling this retro and the sun being in tow. This is a lot of a lot of decisions that we're making as a collective. The question of, yeah, um, you know, what feels really, really right, not only for you know, one person uh, to, to find what they need in one moment, one single moment, but how do we all as a collective find our collective happiness? And, and, and that might be a question that we're answering when it comes to even I'm getting here. Um, yeah, certain systems um, publicly. Now, Jupiter in Aries will be until the beginning of January. Mm hmm. We're going to see that obviously moving all the way through Jupiter is a slow moving planet relatively um, right in between generational and personal. Um, yeah, 
Jupiter is a very ardent energy, Mars energy there again, focus. It's kind of like having a Jupiter retro though, because Mars, the ruler of this Jupiter placement is in retro. So I feel like what I'm going to do with this reading series, guys, I'm just literally, you're going to see this possibly on a publicly live. This series is most likely going to be public and I'm going to do an extended where we're going to actually pull a reading on, on the collective energies for the month and moving into January. So follow us on members. We're going to have that extended there. I'm going to do a full reading and we'll get more into these transits. We'll talk more about the nitty gritties. Okay, we'll pull as well, possibly a reading on these transits and we'll extend that in hourly astrology. So um, for whatever reason, Spirit wants this public, this video right here public. I'm getting here a lot of um, hints that, yeah, that they, that they, yeah, they, anyways. Okay, so no, mm -hmm, that they need to maybe, yeah, sort of um, disperse this information in a different manner than as is usual. Usually this video would be on just a member, month, monthly members. So you guys, thank you for your support. Um, anything else here? Again, members is a way that you do help the channel continue the way that it does. So thank you guys again for your dear support over the years. Even liking the videos, huge support. Um, share the videos, huge support. Always it's the intention, right? So if it doesn't feel right, don't do it um the intention always as well it's like well i'm gonna do this and you know uh, but is it really um you know yeah coming from a place that's yeah um it that's what counts and uh spirit is always watching so you guys um thank you again for tuning into you and anything else i think what we'll do will also actually expand and talk more about january this will be just this last week astrology Okay, and then we'll get into January. So, yes, anything else? So, we are writing up, obviously, as well. Yeah, okay, so we're going to leave it at this, um, the first quarter stage moon in Aries. That's going to be on the 29th. That's some pretty big news, uh, given that Jupiter sits in, yeah, that sign as well. So in that sign, this is going to be a major talk of uh neptune and saturn so thank you guys for tuning in to you we'll see you in those next readings um and i'm gonna jump on now to members and we're gonna hash this energy out with a reading the last week of december and then we're going to also talk about january monthly members um energy so thank you guys for your support if you would like to support this video as well feel free to hit the like button and i'll see you guys in the next videos um anything else really quickly as far as i say body follow on Twitter if you're not already subscribed and uh, anything anything else that last few days of, of, of December is going to be pretty big with the moon as well going into Aries right we're going to have that doubling up with with Jupiter so talk about new beginnings when it comes to right before right the um the new year okay right before 2023 we have the first house lit up with the moon and with jupiter and we have that first quarter stage right so not only is it the moon in aries it's also the first quarter stage so this is yeah yet again a very particular um sort of jumpstart energy um always take it as you will guys thank you again for tuning into you let's back it up clear and throw chakra um, feel free to comment how you like this video series and we'll see you next time bye